More details of the military ceremonial role in the Queen's Diamond Jubilee weekend in June have been revealed. On the 2nd, the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery will perform the Coronation Day gun salute with the Thames Diamond Jubilee pageant the day after. Events are taking place on the Monday and Tuesday as well. Rosie Layden has been to see some of those involved. <laughs> After a planned weekend of pageantry on the Thames, on Tuesday the 5th of June there will be a special service of thanksgiving in St Paul's Cathedral. 119 soldiers from the Household Cavalry Regiment will provide the Sovereign's escort from the Houses of Parliament to Buckingham Palace. Lance Corporal of Horse Jamie Bradbury and his horse Combermere are taking part. As part of the Jubilee there's going to be a 119 uh, man uh, Sovereign's escort from, uh, from the Houses of Parliament to the, uh, to the Buckingham Palace escorting the Queen. And how do you feel about being part of that? Um, it's a privilege to be on it. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime uh, opportunity to, uh, to take part in that. Um, also my, uh, my grandfather, he was in the lifeguards. He was uh, a farrier so he would have been shooing the horses on the coronation. A thousand personnel and military musicians drawn from all three services will line the processional route. Senior drum major WO2 Matthew Betts, who will be leading the musicians, has only been in the job three days. This job is something I've waited 18 years to get and I've always aspired to, to be the senior drum major of the Household Division. And then finally I've, I've had the chance to do it and it's on what a fantastic year to do it. With the eyes of the world watching Britain's armed forces, everything's got to look perfect. From my job and my perspective, I'm spending a lot of time on the drill square um, with the guy that I'm taking over the job from, W1 Ben Roberts, um, and it's just bags and bags of drill. Yeah. Everyone's favourite thing. Yeah, everyone's favourite thing. Yeah, love it. I'm a guardsman. Soldiers, sailors and airmen are already hard at work rehearsing the unique role they will be playing in the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and celebrating the special connection between this long-serving monarch and her armed forces. Well, I think that um, she's held in such high regard throughout the, the armed forces, and um, I think there's a huge amount of admiration for, for what she's done and um, what she continues to do. Bugler Jill Ford took part in celebrations for the Golden Jubilee 10 years ago. Now she's gearing up for this year. I really enjoyed the Golden Jubilee. It's probably one of the best gigs I've ever done in the band service. The whole sort of weekend of doing it was amazing, so I'm really looking forward to doing this one as well. This is only the second Diamond Jubilee to be celebrated by a British monarch. And for all those taking part, it really is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Rosie Layden, Forces News in London.